Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video about the moving averages that are most important to Bitcoin's current uptrend, just to give us an idea as to what the outlook is going forward and whether or not Bitcoin has actually returned to a bull market. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right in. So this green exponential moving average is the 21 week moving average exponential moving average and this is a valuable time-tested bull market indicator so and if we break down from here and then retest it as a resistance so effectively losing it as a support and then flipping it back into a resistance and then rejecting from there that's probably a confirmation of a bear market and as you can see we haven't actually got that in fact we got the total opposite thankfully for the bulls we were able to weekly close above here and perform a volatile retest attempt of this 21 week exponential moving average to just confirm a retest and a return back above this bull market indicator. So if we're just looking at this indicator in isolation, bear market is below and then a retest of this into resistance to reject it is a bear market and conversely reclaiming this as a support is a bull market, then just by looking at this indicator in isolation, Bitcoin has returned to a bull market. Now let's focus on the 50 week exponential moving average right over here. This is also a very important pivotal EMA to watch out for. And this is actually something I covered in a thread because across time, the 50 week exponential moving average, this blue EMA is an important supporter throughout Bitcoin uptrends. And whenever we lose this EMA support, we enter into a bear trend. And you can actually see that here, for instance, this was the mid-cycle correction in 2013, wicking into this support here. So if we just zoom in here, wicking into this support, this 50-week EMA support, supporting nonetheless, this being a mid-cycle supporting this overall uptrend until we get to a peak. And then you can see that still we're able to hold this 50 EMA, but then we rebound from here for a relief and then lose it and then flip it into a resistance and then we reach bear market lows. So afterwards, this EMA figures as a resistance, but then we claim it back into a support and then we claim it back into a support again. So that continues to support the new uptrend for as long as we're still in a bull market, because once we lose this region, this 50 week EMA as a support, that's what brings us to new lows, to new bear market lows. And you can see that whenever we lose this 50 week EMA, we flip it into resistance. And you can see here, this took actually a very long time. So once we lost it as a support, we tried to get it back above it, couldn't, turned it into resistance, and then we consolidated below it for a very long time before actually breaking down towards bear market lows. But if we zoom back in here, we reclaim it as a support, rally to new highs in that particular cycle. And then here is another retest attempt as a support. But of course, losing this as a support has led to tremendous downside. The reason we didn't see much downside here is that of course we broke down from here, but we actually broke past here, this resistance. Tried to keep it as a support, did it initially, but couldn't do it the next time. In any case, I've already created a video about this and that's why the 50 week EMA is so important in preserving a bull market. So just going back to my initial point here, the initial chart, the 50 week EMA has supported the bull trend. And even though we got a fake out here, we got a fake out to just shake out those final investors on the panic selling spree over here, capitulation, we were able to finally preserve this 50 week EMA as a support. And that has effectively saved the bull market. That's an important EMA to watch out for. And this is actually part of a thread that I posted to Twitter that if we're able to rally above the 38K and then the 45K level, that would then possibly count as a successful support test of the blue 50 week EMA as a support, in which case the EMA would preserve the bullish momentum and the bull market would continue. So you can see here that indeed we were able to preserve that bullish momentum and reach to those really important highs that Bitcoin is enjoying right now. So that is, these are the two main EMAs that I watch for. And I was actually sharing a thread where these two EMAs, the 21 week EMA bull market indicator and the 50 week EMA, the 
really vital support to preserving a bull market, at the very least, preserving bullish momentum, we were forming a wedging structure over here, right over here. This sort of wedging, compressing price, and it actually compressed price into a fake breakdown, but then ultimately we were able to break out of this structure that was caused by these, the price compression of these EMAs. But what I want to focus on right now is the 50 day EMA, because we were focusing on the 50 week EMA, but this is the 50 day EMA. And you can see how important it is as well, because back here, you can see what a similar market structure we had. A wide Kofian distribution range breakdown and then a recovery trying to get back above the 50 day. And once we did, we entered a fantastic uptrend. And over here, you can see a wide Kofian distribution range. And once again, Bitcoin breaking back above the 50 day EMA and then rallying to new highs. This was actually a chart from late July, $37,000. And you can see that we're now $10,000 above that price. So at the moment, this fractal has been playing out quite nicely. This being a larger version of this much smaller fractal, but nonetheless, repeating quite nicely, the 50 day being the metronome to these uh, valuable fractals. And you can see how breaking above the 50 day EMA is actually an important, a very important time to just confirm a new uptrend in that fractal actually resolving towards the upside. You can see that this is also happening for the 50 day EMA. Let's move on to the 200 day EMA. And that's the last moving average that we're going to be focus on, focusing on today because that is a long-term gauge of investor sentiment. And you can see that this black 200 day EMA was a resistance for a long time for Bitcoin. And then we were managing, we able, we were able, apologies, to claim it back into support. And we've seen great highs ever since. And you can see that the last time we were able to turn the 200 day EMA into support, we were able to enjoy a nice uptrend. And this price action right over here was always hovering above this long term gauge of investor sentiment that the 200 day EMA is. So we were able to break back above this long term gauge of investor sentiment. This was, of course, a, ch a chart from late July. So you can see that it's uh, rallied towards the upside quite nicely. But every time we're able to hold the support, the 200 day EMA as a support that yields nice upside for Bitcoin. So we can see that even though we had a death cross with the 50 day and the black 200 day crossing over, we've already got a golden cross to just invalidate any bearish bias that we might have uh, got from this main uh, death cross over here. So the golden cross has invalidated that. And of course, we are still very well above these two EMAs, which are quite crucial. But it's very unlikely that we'll revisit these levels as a support because in the past, we haven't really seen that. Every time we're able to reclaim those levels as a support, for instance, here, every time we're able to reclaim those levels as a support, we don't really get those contacts. It's, it's very difficult to get that support retest. If anything, we get quite close to it, but never actually retesting it perfectly. So the fact that we've already broken above here, that could give us some insight that or at least history suggesting to us that we won't see a return to this level over here. Same thing goes for this 50 day EMA. In any case, guys, that's about it for this moving average analysis. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed this one. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.